everybody it's your boy shondi all right so as promised here is the true structural breaks video all right now before i start right here's a little bit of a reminder uh, to everyone that you know wants to spread hate through anyone in everyone's comment section that this channel is called shondi trades effects it belongs to me i control the content i can post whatever the fuck i wanna right it's not up to you to decide what i post and for whom i post it for right if i'm if i'm posting execution videos and if there's no explanation it's because most of my execution videos use things that i discuss only in my mentorship all right if there is something that i can discuss in public i will if not kindly shut the fuck up <laughs> all right kindly shut the fuck up all right so without further ado let's begin all right so true structural break okay now it comes in two parts now this is a two stage process right so now this is another mentorship level thing that i decided to give to you all because of black friday <laughs> no discount just a black friday teaching all right i know it's late uh, it's now it's what it's tuesday tuesday wednesday uh but who cares all right so uh structural breaks right now I'm sure all of you guys that uh, have been in the training space for a while, you, you, all, you all know what a change of character is, right? Now, I don't use that. I use something that's very specific. But just for you guys to understand, okay? Uh, you, you, it's basically something like this, right? So here, that, okay? So that's your supposed CUH, CH, or CH, whatever, right? But it's only a shift of structure, okay? This right here is only a shift in market structure, okay? This procedure, this this sequence of price is only known as a shift in market structure. All right, so this SMS. Now, you obviously will have an order block or something here, right? So let's just say that there's an order block over here. All right, so now if let's say price comes down here, reacts from the order block and then goes higher. Okay, now it's a break in market structure. Okay, now it's a break in market structure. So this is a true break of market structure, true break in, true, true break in market structure, all right? It's not this here. This is only a shift. This is a break, all right? Now, when you have something like this, when price comes back down here and reaction goes higher, you have, now you have some degree of confidence in direction, okay? Because this is it from an internal point of interest. Price makes a new high, right? That's a break of structure. Now, what do you have? You have a low, higher low. And now, what are you going to anticipate? You're going to anticipate that you have now a higher low next that's about to be put in the marketplace all right to go up well, that's the bullish side of things all right and that is the bullish side of things so if we would look at the bearish side of things it's the complete opposite same sequence but complete opposite right so you want to have that change of state first so you're going to have something like uh yeah like that no i think i'm drawing it wrong wait okay like this okay here now this right here is your change of state now this is your shift of market stock your sms okay and when you have an order block or breaker or whatever i like to use this i'm not going to tell you my stuff when you get a reaction from there right this here this taken off the low this is a break of structure Okay, PMS. Now you're expecting price to either induce and drop or re react from inter react internally to this range and drop, right? So let's say you have a gap, for example. It's a gap over here. Okay. And price then will use this gap for whatever is over here and it will continue lower. Because why? Because now at this first moment of time, right here, right? Over here, this is only a shift. I you don't know if the trend is bearish or not still seems to be you know maybe it's a stop but to go higher right here you get the reaction when you break okay now you know that it's bearish so you can expect or anticipate further bearish delivery after a retracement all right okay so that is basically the gist of it okay now if you will look at some examples on the one minute chart because there you can find the most the furthest example the most examples on the one minute chart right so if we just take a step back all right, let's just go to today's London price action. So let's say here. Okay, here. So 
Now, between from three o'clock onwards, so from here, right? From right there, this is where from here onwards only we trade, we start trading London in the group. All right. Now, <clears throat> when you see price do this here, yeah. this one here, yeah. that's a shift. Okay, that's a shift. Now you can see put in a new low, price went up, reacted from something, and dropped, right? Okay, this right here, this break below this low is the BMS. Okay, this is the SMS. Come back into this range, sell off. Okay, next up. Now for this little structure here, see, this is that stop hunt this is that break right okay for this uh, schematic let's say this is the sms all right okay now your price goes down forms a low right there goes up reacts from something and breaks down again this is the bms okay so you had retrace into this range and then sell off all right okay next up now for this now it's a three-part move okay now here this one we have a stop hunt. We have this low taken out right here. This is the SMS. Yeah, that's the SMS. And this new low here, when price retraces there and sells off, this is the, I mean, extend the line for you. This is the BMS. Yeah, so you can see price goes back up into this bearish order block. Now you see. This up close went into this bear trial block, right? So this here is a propulsion block. So it essentially it's inside this range. It uses a propulsion block and sells off. So you see there are three examples of two, yeah, three examples of this uh, from of, of a true bearish structural break. All right. Now let's shift to looking at some bullishness. Okay. So what can we see? We can see that let's say here we have. A stop part right and then you have a break of this one here this is your shift okay now inside this range you have another stop hunt here and you had another break here that's your shift so inside this so inside this we have a shift there okay right once you see that look at this here this guy is your break okay now you see how price did not come back because overall it's bearish okay but you can see it just you know drove up high 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 within their own little schematics here so this is your bullish examples that failed now how do you know it's failing that is using other analytical techniques as well okay right now this is the one minute chart so obviously we are missing higher time frame context okay it's obvious that we are missing higher time frame context all right now how to move on let's see here all right can you see now we have a stop hunt shift this was the next high that was formed see swing high this here is your break okay shift move down mitigate something breaks now from here i can be confident to go for a buy knowing that this low over here is protected for the time being okay right next up what do we have here we have stop on there shift you can see it wicked up it's a shift then here's a break so this range was broken by this move up right so we are going to come back into this range and go high because now we are bullish low higher low expecting another higher low to be put in now repeat same thing stop hunt shift yeah shift here break use this range to go higher up it went okay next up here what can we see let's see we have stop hunt shift oops 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 shift okay what was the next high that was printed this same shifted high itself right here all right now what's the range associated with it from here to here 
Okay, that's the market structure that's being broken. All right, that's the mark. That's the bullish market structure that's being broken. So we are going to use something inside of this low to this high to go higher from. Price comes down back, inducement and whatever here and here to go higher. Okay. Okay, what's happening right now? Uh, this is I can't show you that. So I was tape reading a sell right now because I'm done for the day. Uh, we were looking at potential so I was looking at potential sales so over here. Uh, we have a change in the state of delivery over here. It's mentorship level. I'm not going to go into details. We have another change here, right? But from a market structure perspective, okay, market structure perspective. This is your stop hunt. This is your shift. Yeah. Now what you need is now for this to be a break, you need price to price to mitigate something inside and then go lower. So currently, market structure has only shifted, but there is no confirmed trend, so to speak. Okay. There is no confirmed trend, so to speak. So from here onwards, now if I go to the fifteen, right? If I'm looking at this here. This is all a build-up of liquidity, right? And we have FOMC also today. So this is Wednesday, 23rd of November. We have FOMC as well, right? Now, what's happening right here? Now, if we go back to the five, right? We can see that if I take my pen, change the color, or how do I change? Nope. Okay, right. So now. What can I see now? Let's see. I have a stop hunt. I have a shift. I have a break. Used, gone, finished. Yeah. Okay. Next up. What do I have? I have a stop hunt. I have a shift here. And I have a shift here. But for me to have a break, what do I need? I need that, 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 and then high. Okay. So price is now being printed. So I can't do anything about it just yet inside of this larger framework. Now, from a slower time frame framework, I should be able to get something, right? Now I have a stop point here, shift over here, price is dropping. I now see this. I have a shift here. Can okay, I see? As it forms, right? I have a shift here. Sorry, stop on there, shift here. Okay. Now, if we break, if you react from here and break this low, right? We break this low, then I'll find a POI to sell from here. Because market structure is bearish over here. Now, what can I target? What's my preliminary target? My preliminary target is going to be this volume imbalance. How many pips is that? That is, uh, let's say, if we get a sell from here, uh, that is like 20 pips. Yeah, more than enough. Okay. So that is it about true market structure, okay? Once you get the break, that is when things start falling into uh, place, right? Only once you get the break will things start falling into place. Otherwise, once market structure has shifted, trust me, you don't know it has shifted until it breaks, okay? You can tell me that you know, but bruh, I have lost enough and more money trying to find this shit out, <laughs> okay? It doesn't work. You can have all the confluence in the world, but if it hits your stop loss, what, all you can say is, oh, it's in my stop loss, what to do. But no, you need to have some degree of certainty based on sound logic. Now, what's the logic? Now, to summarize things, what's the logic, right? We know that a trend is higher highs and higher lows and lower highs and lower lows. Okay, higher highs and higher lows, lower highs and lower lows. All right. So now, if you're looking at this, this only here, right, this is our shift. This is our break. Now we have an idea that, okay, we are bullish. We can do something here to buy. All right. Now you see, you see what I mean? We had the shift over here. What happened? It got invalidated. We had a shift over here. What happened? Nothing happened. We just traded lower, right? Based on a 15 second, 30 second shift. Want to see? See. Look at this. So. If you look at this here, right? It's the same thing, all right? See, uh, let's find the stop point. So stop point would be, I guess, this one. Stop point. Here, shift. Go up. 
yeah, goes up. We need this specific canal here, bash or block. Which leg went up into that? This leg, yeah. So this is your break. Now, if this is your break, I need to see price come up into this range itself. Here, from here, I want to see a sell. Want me? Oh, you want to see me do it? You guys want to see me do it? Okay, fine. I'll show you a quick two-hour trade demo, of course, right? So that yeah, move it a bit higher, right? Here, yeah. and let's take like ten pips, maybe. Let's make it six. 12 together simple to R okay so that's pretty much it guys it's as simple as that okay it's as simple as that because now I know what bearish structure here this is the range I'm looking at come up find a POI sell okay and you can see it's reacting rather uh, nicely all right stop loss is a bit of a problem it's a bit it's a bit too close to another POI that I'm looking at but no worries, I'm showing you that it's working. Even if it's a tradable bounce, man, that's all you need. Okay, that's all you need. So, if you can see this is working, you can see why this didn't work. And you can see why this is working. Right? So, this right here, this here was a shift. Initial, The initial portion of things was a shift. This is a break. This is where your POIs are going to be. So, simple. Okay, let me show, let me see if I can find one last example. Let's go to let's say let's go to yesterday. Yesterday's price action. Yesterday's price action was interesting. Okay. Okay. Now, just by looking at this here, all right, can you see here we had a stop hunt, shift. See the shift. You see the shift. Okay. Now, what's the break? Here's the break. Okay. Now inside this, now this is the structure that was broken. See this one to this one. That first one was broken. Okay. So what range is going to be used? This range. All right. Okay. Next one. Next one. Let's go to a bit of micro micro market structure here. All right. Now here is where I'm going to visualize things a bit. All right. So let's say here stop on shift. Yeah. That's a shift. Okay. Here what break. What's going to be used? What's going to be used? Well, I can see that this broken range was efficiently delivered, right? So, what's the next range that's going to be used? That one. Here we go. Up we go. Now, if this doesn't work, it won't. It won't look like it's working, right? So, you can see that over there. All right. Now, let's see something else. Let's look at some bearish. Price action. Uh, let's say here. Okay, right. Find your stop punt now. Let's see. Uh, we here can't see that there's a swing high, so that never got stopped. Stop ran. Actually, it did. It did. It did. Yeah, it did. But uh, it wasn't a break because I'm, I can clearly see it wasn't break because price didn't retrace up there. What can we use? Let's see. Now, of course, you can go to the lower time frame and you can obviously get the answer. But on the one minute chart, there was no possible trade for you to, right? Apart from, uh, yeah, it's going to be a 30 second trade. So let's do something here. Let's go replay mode. Yeah. Go to the 30 second chart. And let's see if we can get something. Ah, perfect. All right. So what can I see? Here's a stop run there. I'm looking for the shift here, right? So wait for the shift. Okay, that's the shift, right? Okay, I want to see price now make a break. Okay, now there's a swing lower. Break that. Okay, break that here. This here is the break. Okay, so what was the swing swing now? This one. That was broken. That's the structure that was broken, right? The left side that was broken. So uh, th this is what I'm going to be interested in, right? Inside here, from here to here, that is the interest I have for shorts. Okay. 
Now, now, why, why do you do? Why do I say that? It's because when price retraced here, right, it reacted from a POI. That's that's uh, something that I use personally and in the group. I can't show you guys. Okay, I use it. I use, I use a POI. Price tagged it and ran. So it's already a mitigation of this range. And down it went. So from here, I know it's bearish. Okay, from there I know it's bearish. So. You see how it went lower. Okay, now if you look at the current uh, scenario, okay, so I see you get a gave a trade but bounce and then it failed. No problem, zero problem. All right, zero, zero problem. What am I looking for now? What I'm looking for now is nothing because I have no proper shift right now structurally. Now, there are candlestick versions of shifts as well. And that, guys, is something I cannot disclose on YouTube. Okay, so I hope you guys liked what I had to give you all for this uh, video. I know it's a bit much, but uh, I hope you can do something with it. And yeah, the next video is going to be about balance price ranges and how I use it. Another mentorship level video that uh, I use from ICT. Okay. So all credit is gone to ICT. I never take credit for his shit, all right? So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Good luck and good trading. Bye-bye.